Today, our focus will be on a story mentioned in the Quran about Ashab al -Ukhdud. Allah say, Utila Ashab al -Ukhdud. That the people of Ukhdud were killed, were cursed. The entire community was wiped off. The entire community was killed by a king. What was that crime? Why were they killed? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Udila ashabul uhdud, that the people of Uhdud were killed. And now that that is Ba'ud. And they were supplied with food. Iduhuma alayha uhud. And the people who were killing them, burning them, they were sitting by the place where they were burned and seeing, witnessing how the people were killed and how, pe how the people were burnt. And they were witnessing how the believers of that time, how they were gathered and how they were dumped into a ditch and how they were burned and how they were killed. So the people who were killing, they were witnessing while they were doing that. So we ask, what was their crime that as a community, as a nation, not one or two individuals, but the whole community was burned, was killed. What was their crime? Why were they killed? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَمَا نَقَمُوا مِنْهُمْ إِلَّا أَنْ يُؤْمِنُوا They did not have any other crime. The only crime they committed that they believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That was their crime. Nothing else. They were not criminals. They were not terrorists. They were believers. They believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That was their crime. And because of that, they were killed. They were burned. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says, الَّذِي لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ So they believe in that Allah. الَّذِي لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ To whom belongs the domain of the heavens and earth. They didn't believe in any king or any ruler. They believe in Allah who, to whom belongs the domain of the heavens and the earth. الَّذِي لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Wallahu ala kulli shayin shaheed that Allah is witness over everything. How did they lose? They were burned. They were killed because they were Muslims. How did they become Muslim? They became Muslim because of one young boy. Because of one young boy. Because of his activities. Because of his dawah. Because of his invitation to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the whole community became Muslim. And therefore, my dear brothers, my dear young brothers, you have come to Jummah today in your half-term holiday. Be the anchor. Be the light. Be the cause of change. And spread the message of Islam. Enlighten the people. One young boy managed to do that through his activities. Through his faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through his belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the king could not take him. The king wanted to kill him. The king wanted him to abandon his faith. But the young boy, he can be one of them. You might be young today, but have high ambitions in life, set high targets in life, be something in the society, be in good positions, do good things, and secure your jannah in the next life. You might be young today. But he can do a lot. This young boy has proven in the history that he did not abandon Islam. Although the king wanted, the king did not want people to believe in him. And the boy wanted people to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore, the king could not accept and wanted to kill him. He tried his best. But he failed. He tried. The story is long. The time will not allow us. But when the king failed, the, the king, you know, took him up to the mountain and then they took him to the deep sea, he failed. Then the boy said, you want to kill me? Kill me by saying, 
that um, keep you by saying, he said, you um, could be sweet, lah, you want to know now. That if you want to kill me, kill me by the name of Allah. Then you can kill me. And then he did that and he was killed. Now, of course, he said, before you do that, my condition that you invite everyone to see that. Because the boy was smart. He wanted the, the public platform to convey the message to the people. So, therefore, it was arranged and he was able to keep killing by the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the people saw that, they all said, they said, you know, فَقَالَ النَّاسِ آمَنَّا بِرَبِّ الْغُلَامِ That we believe in the Lord of the boy. So the entire community became Muslim. The entire community became Muslim. They said, آمَنَّا بِرَبِّ الْغُلَامِ We believe in the Lord of the Ghulam, the young boy. And this is how they became Muslim. And this is how they were killed because they did not believe in anything. My dear young brothers, let us try to be in writing. Let us try to have ambitions in life. It is important to have ambitions in life and set high targets in life so that as you progress, you are achieving in this world and at the same time you are securing your next life. The more and the people don't go Don't worry for them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said you, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِّ الصَّالِحَاتِ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٌ تَلِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ الْكَبِيرِ Those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will be given Jannah. And ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ الْكَبِيرِ This is the greatest reward for them. So no story for them. They secured Jannah, the boy and the, and the community. The question is for him and me, how do we secure Jannah for the next life? In beauty of this life. I pray for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah this is the opportunity to secure Jannah through our activities in this life. I pray for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah is the most important thing.